Tuskegee Airmen. By 1944, the German Air Force was struggling to survive. In a single week that February, the Allies sought to hasten the end. Operation Argument, better known as Big Week, was a series of large-scale Royal Air Force and U.S. bombing raids on German aviation factories. On several raids, more than 1,000 bombers were sent against their targets. Together, the Allies dropped over 20 million pounds of ordnance between February 20th and February 25th. The raids were also intended to bait German fighters into the air where nearly 900 P-47 and P-51 Mustangs engaged them. The German Air Force lost a third of its remaining single-engine fighters that month and 18% of its pilots, but U.S. forces suffered as well. In more than 3,000 sorties, 247 B-17s were lost, despite the bomber's almost uncanny ability to withstand damage and bring our airmen home. Outfitted with 1350 caliber machine guns in eight different locations on the plane, the 10-member crews of the B-17 flew this aircraft, earning the nickname Flying Fortress, with the ability to fly long distances with a bomb payload of about 6,000 pounds. These four-engine aircraft were the workhorse of America's strategic bombing campaign in Europe. Four 1,200-horsepower motors allowed the B-17 to lumber at high altitudes, but it was not a pressurized aircraft. When they had to fly up where it was cold, literally, crew members wore suits that had electric wires in them to keep them warm. They wore oxygen masks, and they would come back from missions with marks on their faces from frostbite that was created from being such high altitude and such low temperatures. In all, over 12,700 B-17s were built, remaining flying today anywhere in the world, somewhere around a dozen. It's part of the reason that we love to see these airplanes fly. So few are still in existence today. The P-51 Mustang long-range fighters had a production total of somewhere in the neighborhood of 15,000, and about 160 are still flyable around the world today. Still waiting for the two B-17 bombers that will be coming across here very, very shortly. They were part of our heavy bomber fleet along with the B-24 Liberator we saw fly by earlier. There were about 18,000 B-24 Liberators made more than any other uh, American aircraft during the war. Seven, the first B-17, and the second. The Flying Fortress, 10 crew members in each aircraft. The first Allied soldiers in France on D-Day arrived by parachute just after midnight on June 6, 1944. 13,000 paratroopers 